Hey guys, it's Brian Buffington, and I want to make a quick little video to help teachers save some time, especially those who maybe work with a department. Maybe you teach the same thing as some other teachers down the hall. Uh, and that could go for high school, middle school, and elementary, all the first grade teachers. And you want to build a master class where you have some uniformity, where everybody looks the same, um, and it kind of saves you some steps there. So I want to show you how to do that as quickly as possible. Also going to show you how you as your department or you as your grade level can build a repository of all the assignments you can easily copy into your real class. So let's make a class. We're going to call it Science Master. All right, I'm going to make my head a little smaller here. Create. It's coming. It's, it's almost there. Hmm. Sandwich break. No, we're good. So let's build it. Let's build it out. Let's build the skeleton. That's really what we're doing here. We're building the skeleton of this class. So in classwork, um, well, first let's go ahead and invite our, our teachers who will have access to this master. So in people, go ahead and invite those teachers who need access to the master. After you do that, you can go back to classwork. Let's go ahead and build it by units. That's usually how most people do things. With the folks I work with, if you're a elementary school person, you may do it by week. Uh, keep it simple, you know. Maybe not by units, but just by like week one. You tell them the dates. That's how you do it. Maybe not by unit, but by topic. Let's do unit one: rocks. Wonderful. And then um, also, did you know you can make a a topic maybe just for you know. Um, Popular links, materials, you know, st things like that. So I'm going to hit add. And don't forget, you can drag these in and out of order. Whatever you want students to see first needs to be at the top, especially as I'm working with younger ones. Um, they need to ask, don't make them go find something. Make it, put it at top, put the word now, like current and asterisk. Put something beside it so you know this is what we're doing this week. So you build it, go ahead and build it by the units. You can, if you want, uh, go ahead and put an assignment in one, but we, we're really going to do be, be doing most of that later. So uh, in unit one, we can do a, let's create an assignment, call it, you know, write a paper. You know, tell them, tell them what to do, give them the instructions, do the thing, and when you give it a topic, that's like a, let me move my head here, let's rocks. Um... Grading stuff, let's keep it the same. And we'll just make this a draft. A little error, there's a little error up there. So we don't have to assign it. We're going to make it a draft because if we assign it, then all the teachers who are part of this class are going to get a little thing that says, you better do your assignment. And this isn't really about that for them. So we're going to save the draft. And you can see now it is grayed out. It is in there. And now we are building this like skeleton of classes um, or the skeleton of a class. You can also go ahead and set the settings right here. There's a little sprocket there. I'll go back. I was a little fast. Sprocket. Come down. So for instance, if you're like, we have a policy school-wide, no one can do this thing. Then you just change it as needed. And then everybody, when they make, make a copy of the master, it'll be the same. Now down here, grade calculation, maybe there's specific grade categories, like your whole grade level is abiding by. So you can add, you can, you know, turn this stuff on, weight it by category. Maybe you want to show the students the grades. Add grade category, maybe test is 50%. And smiles, if you smile, that's 50%. Okay. Smiling, very important. And then you get save up here. Y'all feel, feel pretty good? Feel pretty good? Yeah, this is good. But imagine you would have all the units. And we're just tr trying to make it uniformed. I'm trying to save some time and then make it more, maybe more simple for everybody down the hall. They can visualize this. So now that we have this ready, let's make, let's pretend like we're going to make a copy of it for our class with our students. So let's go back to our classes. And then all the people who are in the master class can click the three dots and copy. Okay. So you copy the class and I'm going to call it buff class. That's my class, my students. So I'm going to hit OK, copy. Watch this. This is great. 
patience is a virtue. Okay, there's buff class. And here we go. If I go to classwork, watch what I get. There's all the stuff. And I even get the assignment that is grayed out. Um, and so if you're like, well, Brian, you know, we don't know what we're going to do ahead of time, you know, right here at the first week of school. That's totally cool. And actually, you don't want the students to see all the assignments for the whole year anyways, um, because you'll have some who actually attempt them and may really, really go off the deep end and not do exact do it, do them exactly how you want. So you really want to just unleash things as you're ready to teach them. Um, so things look good. Let's go to our grades, see if they kept our grade categories. Go to our settings. Looks like, yeah, tests and smiles. Very important. We have those from our master. So everything's looking good. But let me show you how we can use this as a repository. So I'm going to go back to classroom. So that master class, we all share, all our teacher buddies. And now that we already have everything set up, you want to set, you want to sell those units up first, really. But now we can do assignments as we go. For instance, I can create an assignment and I'll call it, you know, shrimp scampi, because that's just on my mind right now. And say so, yum. That's the assignment. You add whatever you want to it. And we can still make this a draft. Wonderful. And it's just, I didn't categorize it. It's just up there. But watch this. If I go to my cl my class with my students, remember we built our little, we made a master. I can now create reuse post from our, our little master. I go to science master, shrimp scampi, reuse. And there it is. I get to put it in the appropriate topic right down here. Do the grading, whatever I want. Um, and then still add my own teacher flair. Add some videos if you like. Um, hey, this is how you can build a master class and also build a repository of shared materials and assignments that the teachers can collaborate on and use as needed. Um, so you're sharing. It's awesome. Sharing is caring. Hey, guys, Brian Buffington. I'm out. Hopefully that helped somebody. You let me know how I can help further more. Bye. Hit the button, Brian. There it is.